Welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the December crystal healing video for Earth signs, so Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. I hope you guys are doing awesome and having a really great uh, month so far. If you're coming in after December watching this, hope you guys have a really good Thanksgiving because tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the States. So before I get into this, I'd like to describe how I go about this time of kind of video. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to see the crystals that are recommended for you for the month of December. Then I go ahead and pull some uh, tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. Now, when I pull the cards for the crystals, I always read the descriptions because these are very, very general, okay? Super general, and I don't want you guys to buy crystals if you really don't need them. So it's up to you to decide if these messages are for you personally, because I'm reading for thousands of people. They won't apply to everybody. And if you don't want to get the crystal because it's too expensive, uh, but you still feel like you need it, uh, that if you get this deck, you can actually use the cards in lieu of the crystals, which I always think is kind of cool. And my throat's already dry. Hold on <laughs> before we continue. Mm. <clears throat> Been doing a lot of videos today. Oh. <clears throat> Been doing a lot of videos today. So yeah, I'm getting a little parched. Anyway, so let's go and get started. Virgos, Tauruses, Capricorn. Virgos, Tauruses, Capricorns. Who's going to go first? Virgos, Tauruses, or Capricorns. Virgos, Tauruses, or Cap... You know, Virgo, I'm really feeling your energy right now. So let's go ahead and go with you. Virgos. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of December? I mean, actually hearing Earth. I'm actually hearing it. I mean, it is your element, um, but there could be something about Earth healing or maybe the environment. You're really affected by your environment during the month of December to be aware of that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of December? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of December? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of December? Oh, wow. Okay. So we have two crystals out here so far. Ooh, nice little combo. We have Amethyst and Citrine. So definitely working on, well, <laughs> sorry, I was getting a lot of different stuff for a second. Uh, I'm getting a lot of sacral energy. Your creative center needs a little paying attention to, and you need to be loving on yourself a little bit, Virgo. Uh, I think you're going to be feeling really sensitive during the month of December. I'm not sure why that's coming in. Um, solar sacral coming in really strong. Yeah, I feel like either your confidence is going to be a little shaken easily, or you're just not giving yourself that self-love and that self-care that's really needed right now. I'm also getting a need to kind of protect your energy. Yeah, I think you're feeling really vulnerable and really sensitive to other people and other people's energies right now. These stones will really help with that. It might even just be your environment and the people in it. What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Virgos need? All right, so I have one other one. We have Lapis Lazuli. <laughs> Lapis Lazuli. <laughs> I don't know why that one's always so hard for me to say. So we have three stones out here, Virgo. Um, I do feel that there's also something going on with your career and your money situation. So you might be worried about money. I mean, it is holidays. Sometimes we get a little worried about money and like how we can afford certain things, right? So some of you might be worried about that, but I actually feel like you're going to be good on that front. I feel like you're having more issues with the people in your life or in your environment than your actual money. And like I said, if you're having money trouble, I think that's not going to last for very long, okay? So let's go ahead and read these off. I'm going to go in alphabetical order. Let's see what is this? Oh, 17. Hi. Okay. Amethyst, inner peace, a powerful protector, purifier, and natural tranquilizer. Amethyst calms the mind and balances extremes. You have an addictive personality. Make a concerted effort to overcome such behavior or obsessions of any kind and avoid overindulgence. Balance work and play. You're prone to excess in both. <laughs> uh, sorry, Virgos, I love you, but it's like, you guys do like to do a lot. You guys do like to do a lot. <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Understanding hidden causes of compulsive actions brings peace. Hand your will over to your soul and allow your spirituality to flourish. Release self-defeating programs. Don't rely on others. You create anything you set your mind to. Be shrewd in business dealings. Pay attention to your family. An honest verdict and success in a court case are possible. Maintain your integrity and let the universe decide. Letting go of cravings leads to inner freedom and creates well-being. The frequency of the sun is high to ex exceptionally high. 
It's great for the third eye and the crown chakras, great for aquas and Pisceans, and for developing unshakable inner peace. I like that. I really like that for you guys. <coughs> okay. Citrine, a stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. So it seems like you guys just need to relax. Relax during the month of December. You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Remember, you are an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Joyful play creates a wonderful world. Uh, be grateful for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism. Become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. Take time out for joyful play. Self-regard self -regard heals a damaged child. Abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. Stop worrying. Be optimistic and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for all the chakras, for Aries, Geminis, Leos, and Libras, and for embodying abundance. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. All right, now let's look at Lapis Lazuli. <coughs> there we go. Sorry. Let's continue. Lapis Lazuli wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, but may be hampered by out outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed here. Yours is the gift of true friendship and protect yourself. Attuning to your divine nature enhances your well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. Great for the throat. The third eye and the crown chakra is great for sagis and divine reconnection here. So... <clears throat> Virgo, you just got to ground. You got to stay cool, calm, and collected. Things might seem a little off in the month of December, maybe even a little chaotic regarding the people in your life or your finances, but you will be okay. Like, things are going to be fine. Like I said, especially for finances, I feel like that's very temporary, all right? So let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. <clears throat> why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? I'm hearing July. Oh, that's weird. I'm hearing July. Something might have happened in July or that could be an important month for you. Month for you. you could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer. <clears throat> Why do my Virgos need these crystals? The month of I keep hearing July. Oh, God. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? <clears throat> Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? Okay. Got two cards out here. Ah, don't run away from me. Okay. <laughs> High Priestess in reverse. Pisces, also Gemini for me. And then Sag over here with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Uh, so you're realizing that there's some blocks. You're realizing there's... Th yeah, I'm getting rough road. I'm hearing rough road. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know why I can't pick up cards lately. Ah, Virgos, something's coming to your attention where you're realizing things are not going to go as smoothly as you thought. And I think it's making you worry a little bit. You might even be worried about travel. This could be travel delays or obstacles in travel, <clears throat> obstacles in a move or forward progress. But yeah, something's coming to your attention where you're like, oh shit, like this is not going to go according to plan. <clears throat> don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? For some of you, you're realizing that someone just doesn't get it. What's that about? Someone just doesn't get it. Someone doesn't get it. I feel like this could just be within your family or your work environment, but it's like, they, they don't understand. They don't understand. And it's like, it's vital they understand something. And the fact that they don't, or like you keep repeating it over and over and over, and the fact that they're really not getting it or they're not on the same page with you is really making you worry. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? <clears throat> 
Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? Some of you are finding out about a major delay. Some of you are finding out a major delay of something that was supposed to happen. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or water. Now, before you guys say my whole deck is in reverse, that's not. Because they were all upright before I started. I made sure of it. <laughs> okay? I've, you know, and it's so funny. Sorry, a little tangent. It's funny when I see comments like that. And it's not just my channel. I mean, people do that to a lot of readers. Like, oh, the whole deck must be in reverse. Like, ha, ha, ha. It's funny because no one ever says that if all, all the cards are upright. You know, it's kind of funny if you think about it that way. Anyway, sorry, continuing. So Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who has their own self-interest here. Oh, Virgo, for some of you, this could be a mother figure as well. <clears throat> Someone's not getting along with the program or this person's causing problems, okay? Uh, this is someone that needs to understand or needs to be on the same page with you. And, they're, and you're realizing they're not. You're realizing they're not. Like, they're not getting it. They're causing, they're causing delays. They're causing problems. They're causing issues with whatever it is you have planned or whatever it is you got going on. They make things a lot harder than they have to be. And Virgo, I think you're coming to the consensus of like, I can't have this always be an issue or I can't have this person always causing problems for me. Let's see. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? I'm also getting a careless energy. This person doesn't pay attention to details. Oh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, I struck, a, I struck a chord with some of you. I felt that like, oh, that's like a pet peeve of yours with this person. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? Or that's an issue. Details are an issue. Either they feel like you don't pay attention to details or you feel that they don't pay attention to details. It's, it's one or the other. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of December? Wow, Virgo, that's it. Overall energy, we do have Page of... <coughs> Excuse me. Page of Swords with the Magician in reverse underneath that. Ooh, with the Fool. Virgo, I love this. I really like this. So Magician is Mercurial energy. So Virgo, I feel like as the Page of Swords energy, you're actually analyzing the situation. And that's what's making you realize like, wow, this person causes problems for me, or there's all these obstacles on my path, I'm worried about money, I'm worried about this, this is, oh, and for some, you're finding out about a delay that's something that should have happened way sooner. For most of you, this person's at the core of the problem, because they're too focused on themselves, or whatever they, they want to do for themselves, or their own self-interest, also careless energy, and not being able to pay attention to details here. I feel like a lot of you, this is like, this is work, work or family, it could be a romantic interest. I feel like it's work or family. I feel strongly it's work or family. And you've analyzed the situation like, wow, magician in verse, I can't make shit happen if this person's always causing problems for me. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I can't allow this person to keep me stuck or delayed. I need to break away with that full energy. So Virgos, you might actually end up cutting this person out of your life or just getting away from this person or taking them out of the equation of like however they're causing delays for you or making things harder than they have to be. You're going to find a way around them. Because you just can't deal. They give, they cause you so much anxiety. They cause you a lot of anxiety, and it's something around details and self interest and carelessness. But yeah, you're 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 like no, mm -mm. I, I get it. You're, I I can't make shit happen if you're in the way causing issues. I can't. So I I gotta go and be the fool, take a risk, break away, do whatever it is I gotta do. Because I need to make ooh, because I need to make shit happen. All right, Virgo, I like that energy for you guys. So like I said, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. And don't let anybody cause you problems or cause you heartache or distress or anything like that unnecessarily. All right, so Taurus or Capricorn? Taurus or Capricorn? Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus or Capricorn? Who's going to go next? Taurus or Capricorn? Capricorn, I'm feeling you guys. Sorry, Taurus. It's okay. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, December Cappies. Happy early birthday. I'm recording this at the end of November, so... What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? Why do I feel like you guys are going to get a lot of crystals? <laughs> Capricorns, you guys have had a rough year. I know. You guys have had quite the year. I, I really feel that December and January, there's going to be a lot of great stuff. February is going to be interesting because we have a lot of Capricorn energy. Way more than December, even though it is your season. Um, but yeah, so let's go into this. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? I'm actually hearing Courage. Interesting. Uh, what stones do my Capricorns need for the month of December? 
What stones do my Capricorns need for the month of December? What stones do my Capricorns need for the month of December? What stones do my Capricorns need for the month of December? I'm also hearing ignorant. Oh, what is that? Oh, Capricorn. Mm, courage and ignorant. Uh, you might have to deal with some very ignorant energies. And for some of you, it might be really difficult because you might care about these people. Or there's a lot at stake. I'm getting a little bit of an anxious energy off of you now. Um, yeah, courage and ignorant. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? Wow, as far as nothing spat out yet. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? Some of you are going to be starting something brand new that you have no knowledge of and you might feel very ignorant. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling that one. Yeah, some of you are starting a new job or a new field of some sort. Oh, we got the soulmate card. So I love this deck because not all of them are crystals, but some of them are types of crystals or allude to more like conceptual ideas when it comes to crystals. So we have soulmate out here. Some of you are, yeah, some of you are going to be finding yourselves in new territory and it's a little scary. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? Okay. Oh boy. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of December? Oh, why do I feel an emotional confrontation with this? Um, I feel like it's positive Capricorn, but I can feel it. It's like, it doesn't make you feel awesome. It doesn't make you feel so good. I don't think it's bad. I think it's really positive. Um, but I feel an emotional confrontation either with people who are very ignorant or people who just, you know, you have to have a really like emotional talking to because maybe they don't understand you or don't understand a situation. Others, I feel like you're finding yourself in very new territory and it's very unnerving and you might have to actually own up to the fact that I'm really uncomfortable with this. And Capricorns, I love ya, but sometimes that's hard, right? Sometimes that's hard for Cappies. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. The other stone that came out was a uh, Peridot, Peridot, Peridot. I don't know the proper pronunciation. Pronounce it however you feel you, you want to pronounce it. Let's see. <clears throat> Peridot. Peridot frees the mind of unwelcome, envious thoughts and night terrors. It is transmutative and purifying. You are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. By nature, jealous, you have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions. Learn to forgive and let go. Follow your own life plan without judging yourself or being envious of others. You have the power to go through fiery transmutation Oh, excuse me, and emerge transformed. Use energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Peridot indicates farewells and disappointment in love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a powerful destiny and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Envy and jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high. Great for the heart and the solar plexus. Great for Leos, Virgos, Libras, Scorpios, and Sagis, and for emotional purification. All right, now let's read the soulmate entry here. Soulmate, the twin flame. Two crystals side by side, called in a twin flame, a compliment to your soul. This is what people mean when they ask for a soulmate. A twin flame bonds two people in an intimate relationship or unites you with the higher part of your soul. You yearn to be loved, but does this come from a black hole you need to fill? Black holes can be filled only from the inside by loving yourself fully and integrating different facets of your being. A twin flame means embracing deep intimacy and interdependency between yourself and another at the spiritual and physical levels. Old heartbreak may need to be healed, ties with a past companion cut or, or vows rene renegotiated. Prepare for open-hearted, intimate, unconditional love. Decide whether you want a soulmate 
with the soul lessons that implies or a twin flame, a companion of your heart. You don't need anyone else to make you complete. A twin flame complements your own wholeness. The frequency of the stone is earthy or high, depending on the crystal. The chakras uh, for the stone are earth star, heart, soul star, and stellar gateway. It's great for unconditional, mutually supportive union here. For some of you, this, like, this new territory is quite literally a, a type of healthy relationship or maybe a kind of connection or emotional connection or a type of um, vulnerability you've never experienced before. And it's making you really fucking nervous. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Definitely for some of you others, it could be that you are kind of pulling away from someone that you need to pull away from because they're just either not on your level or they're not raising their vibration enough to be a good match with you. Okay. So, oh, oh, Cappies, I can feel it. Here it comes. All right, let's get into this. I'm going to use the Radiant Wise deck. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of December? By the way, like I said, December got a lot of cappy energy. There is a lot of shit happening as far as like really deep spiritual connections, a uh, soulmate or divine counterpart or otherwise, especially in regarding the eclipse at the end of December. So I wouldn't be surprised if this applies to more than just Capricorns, okay? All right. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals? For the month of December. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of December? One more. Okay. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of December? Come on, Cappies, we gotta talk about this. I feel like you don't want to go there. I feel like you guys don't want to go there. We can go there, Cappies. We can go there. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Wow. Ooh. King of Swords in a verse, Ace of Wands in a verse, and a Queen of Swords in a verse. This definitely feels like cutting someone out. Yeah, this Queen has her back turned to this King here. Someone feels really unwanted. Someone feels really unwanted and someone also feels lied to. It's like, oh God, I'm feeling okay. Oh, oh, I don't like this. All right, so I'm getting like a whole little thing here. It seems like this King of Swords has stopped communication or I'm feeling, for some, I'm feeling like a total cutoff of telepathy. Whoa, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting like all little bits of these different stories. For some, someone cut off telepathy. You know who you are. And I don't need to explain that for those that that applies to. Um, for some, there was a major cut in telepathy, and that led someone to believe that it was just over. That led someone to believe that they don't give a shit about me anymore, and someone's really turning their back on a situation. But a conversation needs to be had, and I feel like this queen is talking, okay, for those in that group. Um, others, I feel like a queen is just making a decision of, you know, I put in time into this. I really wanted this. It's gone on too long. Something about time. It's gone on too long, and, and this is, like, I gotta cut it. I gotta cut it. I gotta cut it. There's something about, like, needing to cut and needing to say, I'm cutting this and I'm cutting you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless me. Ugh. Oh, man. I'm also getting for some that like this king actively lied. Now, keep in mind, we don't read genders. We read energy. OK, so Capricorn females, you could be the king. Someone else could be the queen. Take it as it resonates. But for some of you, I'm feeling like someone actively lied or was deceptive or was manipulative, even a possible narcissist here. And this queen said, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. This queen is making the action. I got to make that very clear, which is interesting because usually queens just sit back and receive. But yeah, this queen's making the action of, of cutting and even communicating that cutting. Okay. This could be a soulmate or a counterpart. You know your situation here. But a queen's telling someone, I can't do this. Sorry, I'm getting sucked back in. Jesus. I'm also getting accusations. I'm getting accusations. I feel like this queen's accusing this king of something. Whether it's true or not, this queen's accusing the king of something. Let's see what else wants to come out here, Capricorns. Why else do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of December? No wonder you didn't want to talk about this. Why else do my Capricorns 
wheel of fortune things are changing through this cutting through this cutting and feeling not wanted or feeling like someone's been manipulative or feeling the cut of telepathy and then assuming feel that that's a major assumption assuming that someone was just done with them this queen's moving forward this queen's looking forward putting this king away looking forward to the wheel to change this is causing that change for this queen here and it's on the queen's side this king is like yeah I, I really feel strongly there's a major positive shift on this queen's energy because of whatever this king did or didn't do I feel a major disconnect in, in honesty between these two. I, I gotta be straight with you guys. Like, I just feel these two did not speak honestly to each other at some point in time, causing a major misunderstanding that's led to this point in time where I feel decisions were made on assumptions. And now this is where these two are ending up. And this is not a good place. This is not a good place. And it's really unfortunate too. You know, it's really unfortunate. Just seeing what else I can get here. Again, I'm getting multiple messages for different groups. So just take what resonates. For some, this king manipulated and lied. And this queen's over it. Others, there was a major cut in telepathy. And someone made a lot of assumptions thinking that someone was done and over it. And this queen's moving on. Others, this queen is accusing this king of not of not having passion or not being honest and not being, yeah, not being honest and they're not having it anymore. But I don't feel like it's a, I don't feel like there's a good sit down of like total honesty coming out between these two i feel like decisions are being made very hastily that's what it is decisions are being made very hastily to turn the wheel over but it seems like it's turning in the queen's favor <clears throat> why else do my capricorns need these stones for the month of december ten of cups in reverse this queen's really unhappy Oh, it's getting kind of sad, guys. Yeah, this queen's really unhappy. And it's like, it's just, it's mostly in their home environment, but it's like when they go home, they're unhappy. You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. It doesn't have to be like their family's fucked up. It could just be like, with what I have going on right now, like in my immediate environment, like my personal environment, I'm unhappy. That's that's this queen's status. And I think this queen thought, if I cut this king out and tell this king like I'm done, maybe I can have happiness. Oh. Why else do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of December? Why else do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of December? That's it. On the bottom, we have Fool in Reverse. Aries Energy could also be Aqua. Wow. Three of Swords in Reverse. Libra. Jesus. And then the World in Reverse. This is closing a major cycle. Major. Three of Swords is a lot of pain associated with that and like healing that as well because it is in reverse. For some, this can indicate that a third party situation is over. If that's the case, then two people here, this king and this queen, are definitely splitting ways, it seems like. Oh, someone feels like an idiot. Oh, I don't like this energy, man. Someone feels like an idiot. Someone has a lot of regret for dealing with someone, and I feel like it's this queen, but I don't feel like they should feel that way. I don't feel like they should feel that way. I mean, something major is ending here. Up in the air. For some, this queen felt like this situation was up in the air for too long. And this queen's really hoping that they can change how unhappy they are. I think this queen thinks that cutting this king out will, will make them happier, because I feel like this queen spends a lot of time not thinking about this king necessarily. I think this queen does, you know, all kinds of shit, but in like the free time, in those moments, right? It's like my home environment could be happier if I had an, a supportive energy around me or if I had an energy that was honest around me. You know what I mean? Like that. Like get, trying to, the queen's trying to give themselves an opportunity to have someone in their environment that they feel will be direct and honest and open. I feel like fear has really kept these two apart. Like majorly in different ways. Whether this person got stuck in their ego and was manipulating the situation too much and this queen's over it right or they were both so afraid that it's like telepathy was becoming too much but they weren't doing actual three-dimensional communication and then this queen's like done and this king assumes this queen's over them yeah how whichever way you cut it <clears throat> whichever way you cut it or this queen's accusing this king of not being honest again all of that's fear-based all of that is fear-based so capricorns I'm not going to tell you to make, not make a decision, but I can feel this decision is being made hastily. I can feel it. It's being made very hastily, okay? So 
<coughs> oh, Capricorns. So I would try to do your, if you're the queen of swords, I would try to do your best, like try to do your best. I can't speak today. Try to do your best in being as honest as you can. And if they're not going to be honest back, you can't do anything about that and make your decision accordingly of what's best for you. But don't make assumptions and act on those assumptions. Like get the facts, have a conversation. Like I said, if they don't want to be honest, they don't want to be honest and you can't do anything about that. But these stones will definitely help you to be honest and help you to decide what's best for you if you're the queen of swords and also will help you heal from the situation if you really have to walk away from this person because they can't raise their vibration enough to get past fear and to be honest with you okay oh cappies i was really hoping for some something a little nicer <laughs> i was really hoping for that but that's okay um <clears throat> oh geez sorry guys give me a second <clears throat> Taurus <laughs> alright Taurus let's do this uh, what crystals do my Taurians need for the month of December what crystals do my Taurians need for the month of December What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of December? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of December? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of December? Mm. I just got a cozy image, Taurus. Some of you are really cozy. <laughs> During the month of December, just really enjoying your home. Very Torian. I like that. I like that. Somebody really proud of yourself? What's that about? Really proud of yourself? Proud of the fruit of your labor. Oh, okay. All right, Taurus. Get, get it on. Go for it. Nothing wrong with being proud of that. What crystals do my Torians need for the month of December? Wow, I think that I think the full moon in Taurus really, really helped you, my Taurians out here, because you guys feel so good. You're feeling really good. You're feeling cozy. You're feeling confident. You're feeling happy and very proud of yourself, and not in like a not unhealthy way, not in a healthy way. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of December? See here. Ooh, Mook. I can't ever say this. Mookite. Mukite, Jasper, I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I don't pronounce these crystals properly. What other crystals do my Taurians need for the month of December? I'm hearing Thursday. What? <laughs> Thursday. Thursday might be an important day for you, Taurus. I don't know why. Is Christmas on Thursday? I have no idea. Like, that is so weird. Okay, well, let's figure it out. So, what's today? Today's Wednesday. So Thanksgiving is Thursday the 28th. This for I feel like it's really December. A big a Thursday is going to be big for you in December. I don't know why. What I think. Okay, anyway. So the 20th is a Thursday. Friday is the 29th. Saturday is the 30th, which means the 1st of December is a Sunday. So then the 8th would be a Sunday. So let's backtrack. 7th would be a Saturday. 6th would be a Friday. 5th would be a Thursday. So the 5th, December 5th, December 12th. Actually, I think that's the full moon in Gemini is on the 12th. Uh... December 19th and December 26th, the eclipse. Ooh, Taurus. I feel like it might be alluding to the full moon in Gemini or the eclipse here, okay? I'm pretty sure those are the dates for the eclipse and the full moon. That is so weird. I was like, Thursday, Thursday? I didn't realize they're both on Thursday. Oh, keep an eye out, Gems. Keep an eye I mean, Gems. Did I just call you Gemini? Taurus. <laughs> Could be a cusper. So just be aware of that, Taurus. Those, those moon cycles might be really really important for you anyway what other crystals do my taurians need for the month of december what other crystals do my taurians need for the month of december Ooh, very nice and then we have menalite this is very feminine energy oh so you mean you are venus i'm just saying you are a venus sign um i really like this energy like i said i feel like you guys are really confident you guys are feeling really good during the month of december uh you've worked really hard and you guys are enjoying the fruit of your labor as i channeled already but this is feminine energy and i feel like it's also about uh just your creature comforts and just owning owning shit you're just feeling good 
You're in your power and you're feeling good, Taurus, but let's go ahead and break these down a little bit. I'm going to read these and then we'll pull some cards. Okay. Mukite, uh, is it focusing? There we go. Mukite Jasper balances inner and outer experiences. It encourages versatility and openness to new experiences, helping you to choose the right path. A powerful being, you have roots that go far back into the past. What you dreamed, you created. You did. You did. <laughs> Reap rewards or rectify imbalances. Turn failure into a learning experience and start again. Remember to offer friendship to assist others who tread the same path. Your instinctive wisdom inspires them. Check your diet. Put your skills to use vigorously. Adventurous times lie ahead. Worry not. Oh, Taurus. You are protected against deceit and enemies. Recognize your strengths. Stay positive and pragmatic. Reject unrealistic ideas. Avoid pride and despair. You have stamina. Wait patiently. If two courses of action are open, Go for the straightforward one. A professional challenge, such as a job interview or presentation, is successful. You are what you eat. Good nutrition with wholesome organic foods sustains your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy to medium. The chakras for the stone are earthy star, um, earthy star, earth star, the root, and the sacral. Great for Leos and drawing on ancestral wisdom. Yeah, Taurus, you're just, like I said, you're just feeling good. Feeling damn good here. All right. Menelite. The wise feminine. Menelite has a profound connection with earth, the wise feminine and priestess power. It marks rites of passage through womanhood to wisdom. You are an immortal soul who is an embodiment of the wise feminine. Express this through your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. Sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth. Honor your sacred sexuality. Mark rites of passage joyfully. Experience a, par a period of gestation. To move would not be beneficial now. Nurture yourself and bide your time. Yeah, I feel like you're spending a lot of time at home, but that's where you like to be, Taurus. <laughs> it, just, it just is. Uh, withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change. Make your soul whole and find power allies. You know when it is time for rebirth. Maturation is a process of growing wiser. The soul and the heart do not age. The frequency of the sun is earthy and high. Great for the earth star, the base and the root. I'm uh, sorry, the base and the sacral. Uh, great for Taurians, Virgos, and Capricorns, and expressing the divine feminine. Taurus. Let's go ahead and break some cards out. I'm excited to do this one. This feels very positive. Capricorns, not that I wasn't excited to do yours. It was just heavy, okay? Hmm. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of December? Taurians need these crystals for the month of December. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of December? Using Gilded for yours, by the way. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of December? One more. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, sorry, guys. Right ears doing stuff. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of December? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> two twos. Two wands and two of swords. You could be seeing two, 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 by the way. That could just keep an eye out for that. Um, don't try to look for it. If it happens, it happens. But talk about decision time. Wow. Talk about major, major decision time and a new path at that with the two wands. It always indicates that there is a new path to choose. Oh, I think one of the cards even said that if you have two options, choose a straightforward one. That's well, That was the advice. So if you're struggling with a decision, Taurus, choose the one that's straightforward. Choose the one that's straightforward. I mean, that's what the card said. I don't know. I like... Straightforward's not bad. I just feel like sometimes, sometimes the path that's not so straightforward has a lot more to it and you just can't see it, you know? Oh, I might have said that for a reason. So the the crystal advice is to take the straightforward path. I say maybe look a little harder and see what's up here, okay? And see what's up here because one path might not be as straightforward, but maybe has a lot more to offer. You just don't know, you know? You just can't see it as well. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Taurians need these crystals? Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. 
Usually this is lacking confidence and lacking stability, but I don't think you are. I think you're very confident, Taurus. I think you're very confident. Someone might be trying to put doubt into your head. Oh, yeah, Taurus, whatever your path is, like I said, for, for some of you guys, you got two options here. One's straightforward, one's not so straightforward. I feel like someone doesn't is not really comfortable with whatever decision you got to make. They're not really comfortable with it. And I feel like they're kind of scared and doubting and they're kind of trying to put doubt into you. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. Yeah, because I can feel it. You're pretty confident. You're pretty confident about it. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Yeah, I feel like whoever is near you or around you, Taurus, they're, they're worried you're going to make a mistake. And they're worried about the path ahead for you. And I feel like they're putting their negative vibes on you. They're trying to. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire. But yeah, you're confident. I feel like you're this knight. I feel like you're this knight. You're, you're confident charging forward. Someone else doesn't. Someone else is not happy about it. Someone else is really nervous about it. Why do my Torians need these crystals? For the month of December. Why do my Torians need these crystals? For the month of December. Why do my Torians need these crystals? Last card out. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Jupiter energy. Yeah, you just got to get up and go and choose. Because Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the more doubt this person's trying to put on you, it's almost like a stank that they're trying to like transfer onto you. Like, oh, Taurus looks pretty damn confident. Um, Taurus, what are you doing? <laughs> Taurus, are you sure about that? Taurus, you didn't think about this. Did you think about that, Taurus? I don't know if you should be doing that. I don't know if you should be doing that. I don't know if you should be doing that. I think this person's worried about what's going to happen to them based off the choice you have about the path that you have in front of you. They might be worried, Taurus, so you might leave them behind, but you just got to do it. You just got to do it because the more they're doing this, the more stagnant you're becoming. Granted, you're comfy at home right now, but whatever this path is, mm. you know, it's, wait a minute. That's so funny. I never noticed that before. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to get that to focus. So on both these paths, you see that they both have a deer, but one is clear and one's not. Like I was saying, and the one that's not actually has the birds, which birds is actually about communication. It could also be guides. So like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, one might not be so clear, but might have more to offer. Whatever the choice is, Taurus, I know you're confident in making it, but you haven't made it yet because you got someone hanging around trying to put a stank on you, okay? <laughs> a stank of doubt. And it's kind of working, Taurus. Be mindful of that. It's kind of working a little bit. The longer you allow this person to do that, the longer it's going to take you to get on your way. And Taurus, it ain't a time to slow down, just as these, these crystals indicated. Stand in your power. Just stand in your power to do so because you got a lot going on for you right now. No reason to let anybody stop you. Overall energy, we do have nine of wands. Sag energy, underneath that, we got a tower. Scorpio, could also be Aries or Mars. And then underneath that, we do have a judgment. A decision has to be made. A decision will cause a tower moment. And I feel like the tower is going to be put on this person who's trying to give you the stink, okay? It's going to be upsetting to them. And that's also the indicative of the energy we're in for like half of December. Well, actually, most of December is just more potent in the first half. New moons, full moon cycles. I talked about this in the new moon Sag video. But yeah, you being determined and making your decision, the right decision with judgment, is going to cause a tower moment. And this person who's watching you make this decision doesn't want to experience that. But Taurus, you got to do what you got to do. It, we all got to break away from something right now. And whatever you're breaking away from, it's leading you to something that's awesome. But either way, Taurus, it looks like it's offering you great stuff because you have a deer on either side of that. You're going to have that greatness. You're going to have whatever it is you're searching for, but you got to break away from this person and their stank. All right. It's going to be a time moment for them, but oh, well, it's the right choice. And you got to persevere and push forward. Okay. All right, Taurus, Virgos and Cappies. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram and check out the content there. And I hope you guys have a really great December and really great holiday season. Okay. Namaste.